Hello, thank you for tuning in to Shantae on the Brown Sugar Talk with the Black Unicorns. Um, I am still getting stuff started. Today is like all about manifestation. Um, and how we just tend to just manifest different things. Um, I don't care how much I manifest. If somebody is there to lock everything, then I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know who I can say whatever it is. Um, manifest is readily perceived by... It says manifest is readily perceived by the senses, especially by the sense of sight. Um, easily recognized by the mind. So I don't know. I really, I, at this point, I don't know. Let's see. A perceptible how word or visible expression. I don't know what that is. I don't know what what's going on anymore. I have no clue. Okay, everything is starting to start up. Um, so anyway, today is just like a regular day. Um, everything is going on. So manifesting, generating soul, soul lessons. You are here to master the art of breaking the rules. You are here to ignite a spark of inspiration. You are here to stretch humanity into new possibilities. You are here to car carve your own path and inspire others to do the same. You are here to deeply understand the wisdom of your body. You are here to learn through your experiences and release any attachment to perfection. You are here to learn that you can be financially resourced for doing what you love. You are here to discover what freedom means to you. Okay, so it says you are here to master the art of breaking the rules. Y'all, I am so afraid right now. I'm just afraid. Um, it don't make it makes no sense how scared I am. Like I'm so afraid right now. And uh, somebody might be like, "Oh, that's a feeling that you're supposed to have." After everything we've been through, it's not something I should be having. Um, it's so scary to have those feelings of just like things that are just not in my control or people and experiences and all this different stuff. Like some of this stuff is just not in my control. It's not um it's not something I can do. Um I was just like at the house with my father and I'm not saying anything like I'm not speaking at all because it's like if I say something then that's gonna turn into something else. Whatever I say it's gonna turn into you not good enough or it's gonna turn into um no, you said this the wrong way, and now you wrong and all this different stuff. And it's like, wait a minute, I have not even been in your presence. Like, I haven't done anything, and so I'm afraid. Like, today I was like, can I drive the, can I drive the van? I bought the battery for the van. Can I drive the van? No, I'm not ready. The van is not done. Then I said, well, can I take the car so I can go to Panera Bread, do the show? He said, no. So I was like, can you just drop me off? And then that's what he says. Well, um, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do. I didn't do anything. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not the person that made any decisions in this whole argument and this whatever. I'm seriously just sitting there talking to you or just trying to have a situation for myself or gain something for myself. And you in here asking me for 500 fucking dollars for nothing. You see what I'm saying? So, um, no. Nah. That's not something, and that was like my mom's wrench, y'all. So that means that these people have been stalking me. They have been stalking my mom the whole time. You see, my mom ended up dying because of this stuff, and y'all still out here trying to do the same stuff. So then when he said the 200, y'all, the 200 is the amount of money I gave my son, because that was like, and I should have gave him 280, because that was like the 10% from the, um, the taxes, right? So I moved that to his account. That's how I knew they was like going through my phone. So it's like, if you are a part of that, right? 
and you don't want my family to be sued or whatever, or you're not going to admit that y'all wrong, then what, what more can I do? You see? Because whatever I say, whatever comes out of my mouth, is going to be a problem. You are here to ignite a spark of inspiration. I do that every day, no matter what. I think I've been trying every day. And it's not even trying. It's just who I am. It's just my personality. And so it's heartbreaking that a person that supposedly raised me or was supposed to raise me does not know that about me. You see? You are here to stretch humanity into new possibilities. That's what I love about East St. Louis. I love that every day I get to be in a place and I get to see the beauty of all these people. Just how great they are. And just like all the stuff that they taught me when I was little and all this different stuff. And it's like, oh my God, here come this woman and she looks like a queen. Like, I already look like a queen. Like, you like food. You are royalty. Like, I'm like, it is, it is beyond me how beautiful these people are. You are here to carve your own path and inspire others to do the same. Um, I don't know where this path is going. I don't know where it's gone. But I like, I like that too. I like that idea. You are deeply... You are here to deeply understand the wisdom of your body. And that's something that y'all have to appreciate, the wisdom of you. So me and this girl was having this conversation, and she was like, I hate my body because I have no shape and this and the other. And I'm like, why would you say that? Like, it's like, why would you do that to yourself? Don't miss, don't underestimate the power of being real. Everybody out there don't need their body done and all this different stuff. Like, just love you for who you are. Like, you don't have to, that's something you don't have to do. Um... You are here to deeply, oh my God, my computer just scared the heck out of me. Like, you are the last thing I have. You are my last friend. My computer is my last friend. Okay. Um, you are here to learn through your experiences and release any attachment to perfection. I have done that, and I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm not a perfectionist anymore, and it's okay. But I'm still a perfectionist. I still got it in me. You are here to learn that you can be a financial resource for doing what you love. And, y'all, I really like... It's a job I do, and it's not something that's, like, overly um, stressing for me or anything like that. It's just, like, it's just something I do. And I don't make a lot of money. It's, like, my first time in my life I haven't made a lot of money. I'm actually, this is, like, the lowest wage I have ever been paid in my entire life. But I'm having fun, and I'm trying to stay alive, and I'm trying to survive, and I'm trying to make friends, and I'm trying to keep people in my life. I'm about to cry. <laughs> Because I hate these people. <laughs> Not the people I work with, but I just hate my family. Um, you were here to discover what freedom means to you. And to me, it means everything. It does. So on this Woman Crush Wednesday, find a woman who possesses all these powers. And just love on them, y'all. Just love on them. Because it is Wednesday, and it is Woman Crush Wednesday. And, um... I don't know. Stop the petty shit, y'all. Petty ain't cute. Petty is just a bunch of bullshit. So anyway, this is by Amy Lee. I'll put the link below. She's from Australia. Australia? Australia. I don't know her. I just used her stuff from Pinterest. So uh, I'll put the link below to her website. And hopefully a link to this too. I'm making an image link now. Anyway, y'all. Have a good day. Be blessed and loved. I had a friend. Somebody came and told me that a friend of mine, like, is paralyzed or something like that. I don't think he is, but um, I don't know. It's like, it'll be good to know if it's true or not. Because a lot of people come in live, but it's heartbreaking if he got hurt. So, anyway, yeah, just have a good day. Shantae Brown, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorn. So, you guys are just... Have a good day. Like, when do they stop? When do they fucking stop? Bitch, I'm not going to get cancer. Get out of my fucking letter. Get out of my life. Anyway, bye. Have a good day.